Zoom with me, my friend, as I edit a YouTube video. Now, before I can start editing, I have to turn on some music. So I'm going to hook up my Bluetooth speaker. I personally use the Ultimate Ears Boom. We have four or five of them. They're absolutely amazing speakers. A little pricey, but 110% worth it. And then we're going to turn on some Morgan Wallen and we're going to get this video editing process started. I like to start off by making a to-do list. Now I created a custom planner for myself. It's an hourly planner. It has a section for your top three goals for the week and then also sections every single day for your top three priorities for the day. However, I'm going to be honest, I haven't been using it that much. I had good intentions here. I sat down was going to actually use the planner that I created, but then I decided, you know what? A good old to-do list works just fine. So that's what I did. And to create the to-do list, I've been using these little notebooks that I got off Amazon that I'm, I'm truly enjoying. So I will have those linked down below so you can check them out. Now to edit videos, I use iMovie. I love iMovie. It's very basic, which is the reason why I love it. I have tried time and time again to use the Adobe products. There was also another video editing software that I tried to use. I don't even remember the name of it, but those are just a little too complex for my needs. So iMovie it is because your girl likes to keep it simple. Here in just a minute, I'm going to give you an overview of my planning, filming, editing, uploading the entire process, just kind of a general overview. Now, if you're my OG followers, that means you're a planner babe. And if you're watching this and you're a planner babe and you're like, Ashley, why the heck are you telling us this? Why are you uploading this video? Well, I'm doing this because I know what it was like when I first started my YouTube channel as a planner babe and I had to learn everything from scratch. There was no videos out there showing me how to film overhead, what kind of microphone are you using, what are you using to film, how do you actually edit the videos. Like I had no clue about any of that. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know and I can break my entire process down. And we can do a fun little series where I show you from start to finish how I produce a YouTube video if that's something that you're interested in. So let me know down in the comment section. Now this video isn't a tutorial on my full editing process, but I will give you a rundown. So what I do is I start with making a plan. I try to plan out as much as I possibly can. Like I know what the title is going to be. I know what my key points are. I know what the thumbnail is going to look like. I know the tags that I'm going to use. I try to figure all of this out before I hit record. Now listen, I am not perfect. I do not do this every single time. And I also have a scrapbooking channel and I don't do it at all on the scrapbooking channel. I just put my phone up. I start filming and I create scrapbook layout. So I just want to throw that out there. I am not perfect. So I, I guess I should say my intention is to plan out every single video. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It works out way better for me in the long run and for you guys as the viewer whenever I actually plan out the video. But once I have the video planned, then I'm able to film everything. So I get all of my filming done and I film everything on an iPhone. I think I have an iPhone 13 Pro. So I don't have a fancy DSLR camera. I just use my iPhone and it works great for me. I film everything on my iPhone and I upload it to an external hard drive. Once I'm in the external hard drive, I have all of these folders and subfolders and everything is like highly organized because that's how my brain works. Once I have everything onto the proper photo or folders that it needs to be in the hard drive, I then upload that footage into iMovie and I use iMovie to edit. Now my editing process in iMovie is pretty simple, which is what I love. Like I said earlier, I use iMovie because it's basic, but I go through and I cut out the spots that need to be cut out. I can make transitions. I use Canva to create not only the thumbnail, but also if you guys see titles pop up on the screen, I created that in Canva, which is super simple. I love Canva. Um, absolutely recommend it. But when I create it in Canva, it has a transparent background. So in order to do that, you do have to have the paid version, but I just want to throw that out there. So if you guys are like, Hey, I could use Canva for that. You have to have the paid version to be able to download it with a transparent background. But once I have the video edited, I actually export that back to the external hard drive that I have. And from there, I'm able to upload it to YouTube. 
Typically while it's uploading to YouTube, that's when I actually create the thumbnail. So I'm uploading the photo into Canva, putting the text and all that stuff on the thumbnail. Usually by then the video is uploaded and processed on YouTube Studio. And from there, I fill out the rest. The title, the description, making sure all of my links are inside of there that I need, making sure that I have the thumbnail up, that it's applied to the correct playlist, if there's any tags, turning on monetization, any end cards that, I mean, just like the whole process of YouTube Studio. Here's just a little behind the scenes of what a voiceover looks like. So a voiceover is this right here. The footage that I actually have right here of me talking into my microphone, I have it muted in iMovie. And then from there, I plug in my microphone and I do a voiceover over that. So that's just a little behind the scenes. I do this voiceover part in the editing part. So when I'm editing an iMovie, I'm also doing the voiceover. Okay friends, that is a little overview of my editing process. I'm glad you went on this little journey with me and if you want to see more in-depth editing videos, let me know.